please, if you are thinking of leaving your job for poetry, you want to stop, you want to retire yourself and go into poetry business, or you want to stop what you are doing right now and leave it completely and go into poetry business, please watch this video before you take that decision. Here are 10 reasons why someone should not retire or resign from their salary job before starting a poetry business. One is financial stability. Maintaining a salary job provides you a steady income, reducing financial stress during the initial stage of your poetry business. Often uncertain stages of starting poetry business is there. Early uncertainties are there in poetry business because it is a livestock business. Number two is startup cost. Starting a poultry farm requires significant investment in infrastructure, feed, equipment, and chicks, and other utensils. A salary can help cover these initial costs without depleting savings, without going borrowing, without going for loan, which may not finally come. Number three is learning curve. You use this period to learn. Poetry farming has a steep learning curve. Keeping your job allows you to learn and adapt gradually without relying solely on that farm or the income from your poetry business. The income from your job will be coming while you are investing it in the poetry. Please don't leave that job. Don't resign that job for poetry because poetry business is not as it sounds because it is a livestock business. Number four, that is what I've just said now, risk management. The poultry business can be unpredictable due to disease outbreak, market fluctuation, and other unforeseen challenges that may come in between the production time, most especially as a beginner. A salary job acts as a safety net to help you, to guide you, so that if there is any unforeseen event that you experience during the time of production, that salary will back you up. Number five, building experience. Balancing both a job and a new poetry venture allows you to gain practical experience and make informed decisions, reducing the likelihood of cost or very expensive mistakes that may arise during the process. Number six, access to credit. Yes, see, when you are working, you can even meet your colleagues if there is any unforeseen event. Even when you lack money to get the food, poultry feed, you can meet your colleagues in the office and say, please, give me some amount of money. At the end of the month, once they pay us, I'll give it back. They will gladly give it to you because they know that at the end of the month, you are getting your salary. And they, all, of, all of you are in the same place. They will give it to you. Even from your office, they can grant you that loan. So it's going to be a backup for you. So a stable job makes it easier to assess loans and credit facility for expanding the poultry business as a financial institution prefers clients with regular income. If you are working, your ID card, most especially if you are a public servant, your ID card and your job documents can even help you to get loan to support yourself in the business. Number seven is health insurance. Many salary job offers health benefits which can be crucial for managing personal and family health without worrying about medical expenses, which will even affect your profit from that poultry business. So that office is covering it, that your job is covering that area also. Number eight is network and resources. Do you know that you can easily sell your product even to your, to your colleagues in the office? You have a very wide network because you are already working. It's market uncertainty. The poultry market can be highly volatile, with prices fluctuating due to factors like feed, cost, disease outbreak, and changes in consumer demand. Now, poultry farming is labor-intensive and time-consuming, often requiring long hours and constant attention, which can affect your work life. But you can still combine it if you plan it very well. You can still employ workers that will help you 
to do some of the job while you go out and come in and still meet the work. Economic downturns. During economic downturns, discretionary spending decreases, which can affect demand for poultry products. While salary job may offer you more protection during this period. That is why you don't need to resign from that active services. Support systems. A salary job provides you a structural support system, including colleagues, supervisors, and human resource departments, which can help manage work-related issues. So if you are self-employed or you are working in other private or any public service, don't resign. Continue and at the same time combine with poultry. It's professional growth. Staying in a salary job allows you to continue professional development. Assess training opportunities and at the same time advance in your career. It's risk management. Salary jobs typically have lower financial risk compared to starting a new business like poultry or livestock business, which involves potential losses and financial uncertainty, most especially during an outbreak. Its access to loan and credit, a steady income makes it easier to qualify you for loans and credit, which can be more challenging to obtain when relying solely on the income from a poultry farming venture. You know that most financial institutions or lenders hardly lend to poultry farmers. Unless you are into poultry feed, poultry feed production, or other aspects of agribusiness that does not have high risk of mortality. In stress level, the uncertainty and demand of running a poultry can lead to higher stress level compared to the relative stability of salary job. But with the income from your salary job, you can use it to reduce the stress by bringing in extra hands that will help you in your daily routine of poultry management. Is Regulatory compliance. Poultry farming involves complying with various regulations and standards, which can be complex and time-consuming to manage without prior experiences. So when you are combining it with your public service or salary job, it's going to help you to acquire or have a close idea from other employees or your co-workers. Backup plan. Keeping your salary job while starting a poultry farm on the other side allows you to test the waters and have a backup plan if the farming business doesn't succeed as expected. You know, when you want to test the depth of a river, you don't need to step two of your legs at the same time. Transitional from a salaried job to poultry farming involves significant consideration. A salaried job offers financial stability, predictable income and benefits such as health insurance and retirement plans. It provides job security, a structural support system and opportunities for professional growth. Conversely, poultry farming requires a substantial initial investment, specialized knowledge, and at the same time, subject to market fluctuation and economic downturns. It demands long hours and constant attention, which can affect work-life balance and increase this level. Regulatory compliance, managing financial risk, and difficulty in obtaining loans and credit without a steady income are additional challenges. So, why the idea of pursuing poultry farming can be appealing, particularly for those with a passion for agriculture or agribusiness, it is crucial to weigh the risk and benefit carefully.
the financial stability, benefit, and professional growth offers by salary job are a substantial advantage that should not be underestimated. Note this. For those considering a career or a career shift, it may be wise to maintain their salaried position while gradually establishing their poultry business, thereby minimizing risks and ensuring a safety net. The approach allows for a smoother transition and a better chance of long-term success in the both fields. So, make sure you combine your work with poultry. Don't quit your job completely for poultry until you get retired. But make sure you start poultry or agribusiness before you get retired. I still advise you before I call it a day. Poultry and livestock business is the best business for you at old age. By then, you will not be able to run. By then, you will not be able to pilot if you are a pilot. If you are a good driver, at the age of 100 years, you may not be able to see where to drive. If you're an electrician, you may not be able to climb that same pole at the age of 90 or 100. But with your walking stick, you can still walk to your pen and feed your chicken and still come out. They will give you that job. So you start, combine, and move forward. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please help this family by sharing this video to reach other farmers, not only farmers alone. Even those that are not farmers right now, those that are working, those that are enjoying salary jobs right now, there will be a day the salary will not come. By then, they don't have that same strength, but they will have the strength to feed their livestock, like chicken, goat, sheep, and the rest of them. Make sure this video reach them so that they get their plan on time so that it will not fail them at long run. This is an educational message to everyone, most especially those in full-time service job. Thank you till I come with another interesting topic, loading very soon. Bye for now.